Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, we gathered some items for Lyrum's funeral. Who it, Lyrum is Kaim's uh, daughter. And then we went to, through the scenes of her funeral. And then we found out that Mac went to the Crimson Forest. So Cook join the party and now we gotta go to the crimson forest the crimson forest is in the mountains to the west we better hurry there are monsters showing up outside of town after the uh, events of the funeral though we can i think find the music person i believe for the first time i think so we're gonna go back to namara Oh, another dream. Let's see what this one's called. Evening. Bell. So again, like I've said in past episodes, I don't read the dreams because they're so long. They take a while to get through and everything. So it'd be like the whole, I'd be here the whole episode reading everything because of how long the stories are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is about a woman, I guess, on the farm. Her husband's dead, and her children are on their own. I am reading it, but it's just like I'm skimming through it, you know? I don't know, somewhere. Kind of doesn't know where he's going to go. He's immortal. He's got all the time in the world. He don't really care. He could just he could just chill out every day if he wanted to. He don't have to do nothing. And his whole theory earlier said he watched a lot of people die, right? Well, he could just, you know, he could just stay in a cabin in the woods and then he'll never experience anyone die because he'll be there by himself. Of course, that leads to isolation, which causes another problem as well, loneliness. So, oh, that was a short, that was a short, I could have read that one. That one was pretty short. That was the shortest one so far. By the way, that thing over there, the queen turned that thing to stone. That's where we found out a couple episodes ago.
Oh, we got a cutscene here. You know war's a dangerous job. Apparently not. Damn, they must be planning to invade Ura. You see that with his eye there? He uh, relayed that to uh, Gungora. Alright, let's head back to Numara. Before we go to the Crimson Forest. I want to check to see if that uh, music person's there now. Or it might be, it might be later as well. I know you unlock something after the funeral, though. Either a side quest or the music thing. Oh, wait. I oh, know, that's a soldier. Never mind. I thought that was that little girl. Oh, we can't complete the little girl's side quest until much later on. Yep, here we go, right here. Cubic Musician Lotto. Hello, hello. Would you like to try playing this cube here? What? You don't know what cube music is? Well, I can't believe it. And it's so much fun, too. This is a special cube, you see. When you hit it, it makes the most beautiful sound. It's even better if you can create the right melody because the cube will open up to reveal fabulous prizes. We need a cubic music score to play. It's your first time though, so I'll give you one to start out. Cubic music score one. We'll go ahead and read that first. C E G C. So that's what you gotta hit. That's the cubes you gotta hit in the battle. Hopefully I can remember that. Hit the cubes in the correct pattern to create a melody and earn a fabulous prize. That's the spirit song would you like to try. Keep it music score one. First steps, difficulty, one star. C E G C all right, ready to play the song you chose? C E G C. So you got to have, for this you'll have to have four people obviously. Uh, some of the ones later you'll have different people you'll need to use. And here we go. We get to a battle. And we gotta do C E G C. Right? I think I got that right. Hopefully. Yep, got it. You can just write it down as well and then just... Um, that's what I used to do. Congratulations, that was some superb playing. To commemorate this first performance, I'd like to give you this. If we're completing the first one, we get Force, which is, see you later, come play again soon, you hear? Yeah, it's a level three black magic spell. It's like weak physical damage on one foe so basically uh, it's better always better to do like the elementals that are good against 
an enemy, you know. So if enemy's weak to fire, use it. But if enemy is resist all elements, you can do force, and it'll do more damage than those. Alright, we'll come back later for the rest. Obviously we need to get more music scores later, so can't get any more right now. So let's go to the world map now. And we'll head to the Crimson Forest. So this is a pretty long dungeon. It's going to take us a few episodes to complete. Probably like two or three episodes to complete. But we'll get through it. Well, I overheard in town that there's a reason this forest has been crimson for years. Isn't it just the color of autumn leaves? Although, it is incredibly intense. Oh crap, I just turned my... Sorry guys, I just turned my TV off on mistake. The reason the queen forbade entry was because the crimson forest is cursed, stained with blood. Let me go back it's so I can see. It's also the forest of sorrow. I don't even know if you guys even heard that after it... Alright, the Maze of Gloom is where we're at currently. So Cook, who joined the party in the last episode, is a little bit lower level. She has a very low amount of HP, as you can tell. She'll die in like one hit if your GC like gets too low. Okay, so let's look around here. And in this area you can tackle these things and get items. Angel's Plume. A lot of Kelalons here. Fly weight. Uh, fly weight Kelalons. You can steal healing medicine from them, which are garbage. So don't steal from them. Other well, water, so you want to use ground, right? Pokey pokey. Oh, 
I was probably ever defend. I need to give her the black and white black and white level one thing. Uh oh. Summoning reinforcements. <laughs> we got Kel Line. You can steal Angel's plumes from them. I'm just going to defend with her. Oh no, they're casting kill on, on us. Oh shit, that sucks. Did it miss? I know it worked on him. So this is like reduce the damage you deal or something like that. I don't really remember what it does. Yeah. Shit. I got Kello Vitamins, but... If it's just gonna run, there's not much point. <laughs> Still didn't die. That's fine, use it on her, I don't care. Watch it run. Still not dead. Ah, you coward. I definitely need to give her magic. Black magic. Forgot to do that. Stuff learn MP max up one. Cook learn prayer. Let's equip something else on her. It's immunity to kill on. That would probably be pretty good. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna give her something. So what you wanna give her? Enables use of black and white magic. Apprentice ear. Actually, I'd rather have, I'd rather do level one, right? So novice earrings. And over here, oh no, there we go, right there, uh, we can get cr crystal fragments, which we'll be able to get throughout this area. Oh, nothing's happening. Looks like something made by the Eastern Tribe. I guess it wouldn't respond to us since we don't know any spirit magic. So 
Same for that right there. We need spirit magic. Anti paralysis herb. Pretty useless for the most part. Uh, keep this in mind for later as well. We saw one of these at Gore's Mansion as well. We can't have it. We don't have access to the whatever that is yet. No one gets in the door. Except for the monsters. Oh, we got a new enemy here, Gigan Toad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Grand Toad. Uh, you can still poison oils from them if you so desire. And they have a lot of HP. <laughs> Ow. Tongue Lash. Licky Licky. Damn. Boom. One down. This is why I gave her black magic. I should have did it before, but I wasn't thinking. I don't appreciate getting pimp slapped by your tongue, bro. Um, but yeah, one thing you'll notice, uh, Cook is getting a lot of EXP because she's lower level. EXP gain in this game is relative to your level. And it makes it impossible to over level in this game. Which, I guess some people say is a... Some people say it's a good thing, other people say it's a bad thing. If you like more of a challenge, obviously, like I do... I like it a lot, but um, I could see some people not liking that. Um, it's a hit and miss. What are water enemies around here? I noticed. Of a battle. Force us into a battle. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, this battle. So you have these uh, Spituras plus Soul uh, Eater Bug. It's in the back. You want to get rid of the bug last and get rid of these enemies first. You can steal mana herbs from these things. Blood sucking needle. Yep, and then, yeah, see it. They'll like eat them and then it'll eat them and we'll get more powerful. So basically you got to get rid of the ones in the front as quickly as possible. As for this enemy you can still anti-paralysis herb from it so it's basically useless to steal from that one. And this is wind, so you want to use fire on it. Yeah. Gonna cast AOE on my fire party here.
Easy. Everybody leveled up too. Kaim learned Angel Heart. Seth learned Angel Heart. Jensen learned Black Magic level 3. And we learned Stone. Inflicts signs of petrification on one enemy. Seals one enemy. And we, now we want to skill link with Jansen. Just be a one party member. Hmm. And then we want to equip new stuff here as well. Oh no, I've already got everything. Okay. They always make sure to set something else to learn whenever you learn, after you learn something. Nice crit. Nice with that ground ring, I can kill him in one hit. Getting better at doing perfects. Practice makes perfect, as they say. But two goods in a row. Oh well. What a waste of time. Would have liked to kill kill like the other ones. They get summoned. It's Max. I wonder if he slipped. You know that kid's not too bright after all. Mac must be ahead of us. Let's go. Alright, so that's the way we gotta go, but let's not go that way yet. We still have more to explore over this way. No seed, alright. Another crystal fragment. And keep that in mind for later as well. Another crystal fragment here. And then save our game. And then we'll go we'll continue. Okay, only two of these things this time, or three of these things this time. Let's go ahead and we'll have, I really shouldn't be doing this though, because that, that bug is really powerful. Okay, I didn't absorb, so we're good. I really shouldn't be doing this though, but I wouldn't mind getting some mana herbs.
Oof. Yeah, so what Flare Mine does is it if you hit it with physical attack, it'll damage you. I'm just gonna go all out here, screw it. Yep, see. Phew. That was a close one. Looks level eighteen, common kind of earth resistance up, nice. That'll be pretty handy. We'll give him something else there, increases MP, sure. Um I'll just keep her on that for now. Near Swamp. Another Crystal Fragment. That process herb. Oh, new enemy here. Red, red Trent. They can still hard skin from them. with your uppercut. They are the harder they fall. Alright, Kaim and Seth both learn level 3 black magic. So I'm going to go ahead and swap them out. Something else. I did this on the video as well because it would take too long to not do it on the video. I'd have to stop the recording. Another crystal fragment there.
And if I missed anything in that last area, I'll, I'll get it later because we're going to have to go back to that last area anyway. So, no big deal. Dead end over there. Mina capsule. No seed. Might be a battle, yeah. It's okay. It's okay with me. Blood-sucking needle, suffering anti anti -kelon. So, draining ring. Absorbs a small amount of enemy HP. Okay. It might not be the end of the world to equip that. Definitely want to equip Earth Resistance up. I know that for a fact. Um, Mana capsules and shit. Or mana herbs, whatever. Okay, I already went that way. Oops. Oh, nothing up here. Okay, we got new to me. Uh, balloon. Get flare bombs from them. Yeah. 
So basically, kind of like bomb enemies from Final Fantasy. Yep, they do the same thing too. Ah. Uh. Cook's level 19 now. Common learn prayer. Max MP up. Cook learn level 3 white magic. See if we learned any new ones. Cure seal. Cover. Creates a weak barrier that absorbs damage and protects the party. Surrounds. Okay, um, anti kill on, sure, blind. Sorcerer Shrine, alright. I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll complete the Crimson Forest. Later.